Hi, Jason Mazzala with the Flying Heritage and Combat Armor Museum again. And uh, we're going to take a, a quick update tour of the JU-87 Stuka. We have been uh, back on track getting some work done with that. And so we'll just walk around and look at a couple things and, and give you a brief update of what's going on. The first thing you'll notice right away behind me is that the tail has been taken back off the airplane. During a restoration, a, a lot of times the airplane has to be assembled and disassembled and reassembled and disassembled to get to different parts and pieces and fit things. So um, completely normal in the process. So as you guys come in and visit the museum, you'll notice uh, sometimes the airplane will be uh, will look like it's less than it was the last time you're here, or or be in a, a smaller configuration. And and that's okay. That's all part of the process. So. Uh, we'll walk around the tail so you can see that that's off and then uh, we'll, we'll round out with going behind the wings where we'll look at some electrical components and that's what uh, the most of the work has been focused on here lately. Uh, two basic areas, one being the electrical system. We're trying to, to get all the wires in uh, and ran and hooked up to all of the electrical components because they're kind of buried. Uh, in the airplane and kind of hard to get to so what we do is we put the electrical system in first and then we don't have to try and fish the wires behind other components so let's take a walk around we have a look at the airplane and uh, I'll talk again on the other side of this one So as you can see, we've got a crew of guys working on the Stuka here, and, and some of you may recognize them from the Stuka event we had earlier this year. Uh, we have five Hungarian uh, workers over here from the shop, uh, IAMF, that restored the structural airframe of the Stuka. And they're over here uh, completing and kind of some of the work they had done previously and catching us up. And, uh, and they're hard at it, as you can see. Most of the work that they're doing, sheet metal-wise or not, has to do with the electrical system, putting junction boxes in, uh, running the looms of wires into uh, sheet metal channels. The Germans were very good at protecting the electrical system, so there's, there's all these uh, uh, sheet metal channels that are all enclosed that hold the wires, where in a lot of the U.S. airplanes, it was just a wire bundle uh, tied up inside of a, a wheel or a wheel well, rather, or a wing or a fuselage. Everything was encapsulated in the J87, so that's why there's sheet metal associated with the electrical work. As you can see, uh, Franzel, who is our head electrician here, is working on, on a box. Uh, which goes underneath the instrument panel near the rudder pedals. And if you could, you can zoom in on this box with the red tab here, uh, what you'll notice is that it has kind of a latch right here, a latch with two handles. And what makes that box unique is that it was a, a quick release for a main electrical uh, circuit that would disallow anybody from stealing or flying away with the aircraft. So essentially what would happen is uh, the pilot, if, if they were unsure of the area they were in, they would unlatch uh, that box that you just saw there. They would open the box. I'm sorry, let me back up. They'd open the box, they would unlatch that clip, and then they would pull that out and put it in their pocket. And it was an anti-theft device. And that's something that is unique to this airplane. Not all the airplanes had that, but the JU-87 did. And definitely none of the American airplanes had that that I'm aware of anyways. So uh, kind of an interesting little tidbit there. So Pax here uh, gave a wonderful talk last night on, on a couple of different uh, interesting items, one of which was the JU-87. And what Pax is doing here is uh, creating uh, tubing for the wires to be housed in. 
and earlier when I was talking about the wires being inside some sort of sheet metal structure, uh, this was one of them. They would run tubing not, not to carry fuel or hydraulic oil or engine oil, but they would use it for the electrical wires as well. And so we're recreating the tubing that, that you would have found that wire in. So, as they say, out with the new and in with the old. Just kidding. I thought we would end here uh, at the original JU87 wing um, so that I could show or, or demonstrate uh, how it looked originally and, and kind of what we're doing. So the tubes that you just saw Pax working on to hold the wiring uh, can be seen right here. So this is a JU87 B2 wing. And here's some of that tubing with the notches that you see right here uh, that were in the tubes that Pax was working on. And then here are the original wires uh, coming out of that tubing. So uh, as you all know, uh, Flying Heritage uh, restores up to the highest standards and we absolutely could just run wires through the wing, but we're gonna go the extra step and recreate this tubing here and put it back exactly the way it was originally. Well, that's all for now, and uh, thank you for joining the tour, and look forward to seeing you guys again on our, our next Stuka Tour update.